well oh, I never know how to start these things well hello howdy there's a fly on my ceiling I never know quite how to start these anyway it has been a while don't look at my messy kitchen I've been doing some cooking today so I just kind of wanted to share what I made honestly I have no idea if it's on plant I'm pretty sure it is it is higher in carb um, and I had two servings of it, so carbs was like 35 or 36, but it has like 19 grams of fiber and six grams of, <laughs> what was the other one? Um, six grams of fat, but because, anyway, <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> anyway, it's very standard. I soaked the beans overnight. Um, and then there's onions and some tomatoes and some just seasonings. So I'm pretty sure that this is on plan pretty close. Honestly, because I haven't done it in a while, I don't quite remember the numbers. <laughs> but there is no sugars in it at all. And um, anyway, so I'm, I know it's really healthy at least. So um, these muffins I made are banana muffins. Um, now, I did not use the THM flour. I just used, let me show you. What do you have? It fell off of the chair, see? <laughs> yeah, we need new chairs. We have a couple that are just kind of dying. We've had them for a very long time. Okay, so I, I always feel bad. So I rewatch the video sometimes, and sometimes I feel like I'm like going all over the place, and I apologize if it's really annoying. Um, all right, so I know this flower is not on plan because it has some tapioca starch and different starches, um, but... It's just what I had. Um, I did use the super sweet blend for these. So there's no sugar in them, but there is some fat. So they would be an S, right? S's are fats. I need to like read this book again. All right, anyway, I just was sharing what we had for dinner. Um, I did make some homemade bread, um, but this was just regular white bread in the bread machine. So yeah, nothing great or fancy. Okay, so you know, a lot has kind of been going on since the last time I video, uh, videoed, uh, vlogs. Um, so we moved all of our garden stuff. We had our garden bed over on that side of the house, but because of all like these big trees, they would always blow seeds and stuff. And so we'd get tons of just weeds and crop. So, um, we moved our garden boxes over here and before they were just like, one level high and we put the two garden boxes together and made a taller one um this is a grape vine i really just don't i don't know where to plant it so um still trying to figure like i have an idea of where i want to plant it but it's not clean i need to clean it up first um but this is what we've got going on we have a uh, cherry tomato plant here and here and this is one of those beefsteak tomato plants and those are looking like they're doing pretty good but, oh hold on just a minute okay oh okay just a minute and then i have a bell pepper no, bell pepper here which is like dead and a sunflower here that's like dead so i um we have a ton of bugs and i don't know how to get rid of these bugs without like spraying everything down with a bunch of chemicals. Um, so if you have any ideas, please let me know. Otherwise, I'm just gonna Wait, Pinterest mommy, want, it and see if I, I can find, something. come up with an idea. Okay, what do you wanna see? So, do you see that seed? It will grow into a flower. This that, one? Uh-huh, it will grow into a flower that will get all the bugs away. Oh, it's actually not a seed for a flower. Really? Yeah, it is a praying mantis pod that we got in hopes that a bunch of little there's supposed to be about 200 praying mantises in this little pod and they're supposed to eat off or kill off the bugs that ruin your garden they feel kind of hollow so i'm kind of thinking that they've already come out but i haven't seen any anywhere and for a little bit they were on our patio up there and i think 
maybe they came out while they were up there so I don't know we have a lot of bugs though I mean look at this like they're just being eaten like crazy um, is there a squash mommy I know I know what that one's kind of dying mom I know one thing that's really growing really well yeah which one uh, We planted a raspberry bush. And, the, and we also planted a bean bush, but it died. A sugar snap peas. Yeah, none of those are going very well. Our lettuce this is getting like this eaten. One. This is a jalapeno plant. That one's looking Ooh. pretty good. Um, and then over here, we have strawberry plants. And these are actually doing pretty well. Um, that's the one I wanted to eat, and it's really soft. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I think they look good. So, but I mean, we've been watering. Sugar snappies just don't like they've been eaten alive. I just don't know what to do about it. Actually, I mean that one's like an okay. Our corn is in a spot that gets a lot of water, so I'm not sure what that yellow on there means. And then that strawberry plant's not looking the healthiest, but the rest of them are doing pretty good. See, like those. We got these little ones those. starting. What? Grandma has tons of strawberry bushes, and they're almost ripe. Are they? That is so cool. So now we have we have a new addition to our family, um, eight new ad additions to our family. Wait, no, no, no! Don't tell them what it is. Okay, I won't. You're but just gonna have mom, to wait. But mom would die. Our doggy. Oh. Okay. Let's talk about that for a minute. Okay. Come here. So you guys might have seen our little dog Momo. He passed okay. away. Um, we're actually really sad about it, and the kids. I've been really sad about it, but we don't know what happened. Like he just got really sick and just decided he didn't want to eat anymore. Um, he wouldn't, he had diarrhea anyway, just kind of lethargic. We took him into the vet. They said, here, give him this medicine. We did, they didn't, they just said it was kind of like a stomach thing. I don't know exactly what it was called. So we gave him the medicine and the next day, by like 10 minutes after the kids went to the bed, he had passed away. So, kind of knew it was coming because he was just going downhill so fast like we we t it was just like within a four four day period of time so I don't know what happened but we're kind of devastated um, we did not get a new dog yet I would like to but I want some time to pass but we did get something else so let me show you make sure I don't get hit by the sprinklers we got chickens chickens there are eight of them um, we have a couple of Americanas and red something or other anyway, I don't remember the names of them right now so I'm gonna have to look them up um, but I did my research and I think I'm gonna be happy with these ones I think the Americana ones plant, or not plant, um, lay like blue green eggs so I thought that would be kind of fun we just have two of those chickens um, oh and those our chickens will be that big someday. So our neighbors has chickens. Right now they're just about six, seven weeks old. Got their water and their food. Yeah. Got some kids playing on the trampoline. Now we also have a new family of wasps inside of there, up here. So if we come around the sides, yeah. So actually. Oh um, look, they're all cuddling down there. I have my own chicken. His name is Pillow. He's on top of the water. Oh, yep. His name is Pillow. On top of the water. That's yeah. my chick. Yeah. Do you see that 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 white one with the yellow head? Uh -huh. That's that's Sunshine Rainbow. Um, Allison and she. That's what, yeah, and she pets everyone, even the other chickens. She used to, us. but I don't think she has any. I don't think she, she does pets anymore. Me before a lot. Yeah, we have to play with them a little more often, huh? Yeah. But, so, but this morning we tried to let them run we, around. We did. We tried to let them run around and but open up. Go. And they wouldn't come out of, <laughs> of their little coop because that's they're just used to it. And we're going to build like a little expansion so they have more room. Um, like right in this area we'll put up more of a fence going around. Um, sorry, it's kind of windy out here. Um, Yellow chicken, they're following my hand trying to pick it. <laughs> what? Yellow chicken. Look at me. Woohoo! That is so fun. Ooh, 
bunk. Oh, did you bunk your hand? Um, it's okay. Your oh, chest? Yeah, yeah. So what have you been doing out here? Just getting wet. Just get, will you show me? I want to see. Hold on, sweetie. Oh, ho, ho, ho. have you been running through the sprinklers? Yes. Yeah, show me. <laughs> Is that fun? <laughs> high five. Give me a high five. <gasps> high five. Yeah. You give me my high five. A wet yeah. high five. A wet high five. All right. So that's kind of our update. We've been planting our garden, getting chickens, dealing with our poor puppy that is no longer with us. Um, oh, yeah. That happened a while ago. I wasn't quite like ready to talk about that. <laughs> They're having fun. So I wasn't gonna talk about that a ton, but my dad did pass away in October. Um, and so that has been in a minute, okay? Hold on. Anyway, so that's been uh, kind of heartbreaking and it was not expected. I mean, he was barely 60 years old, so. Be nuts? Oh no, that's just a little hook from the ham, Allie's hammock. So anyway, at some point, like I have a bunch of photos and videos and stuff I'd like to put together. I just haven't done it yet. I haven't wanted to look at all of that, I guess. So, anyway, but that's kind of my little update. I really do want to do more videos. I'm not going to promise anything, though. But I'm going to try to do more because I do enjoy making them just for, you know, to look back on later on. So, um, I am also the other thing that um, I'm, like, super motivated um, to do. I don't know how to say that. Anyway, is losing weight. I really wanted to get healthy, and so I've been working on that. And I have allergies, so if I like sound stuffed up and I'm sucking through my nose, that's why. Um, but I am on my fitness pal, and I've been tracking calories off and on, just like the last couple of days. Um, but today I'm doing great. In fact, I'm like, oh, I'm kind of under calories. What else should I eat? But I'm not hungry. That bean soup, let me just tell you, like, fills you up like none other so um anyway so that's my update and i hope to see you guys again soon and we'll post something again soon and i'll talk to you guys later okay